Atlantic City is located in South Jersey, about two hours from New York and an hour or so from Philadelphia. In the summer, this beach is one of the most popular destinations for partiers, families, and even the older folks. Throughout the year, it's a great destination for gambling, clubbing, and bar hopping too. For college students looking to visit, there are some main things you'll want to know before hitting up America's playground. You know, I have to say that under the boardwalk song, not that fun under here. On your way into Atlantic City, you'll pass the Visitor Center, which is an interesting looking building, but good stop for anyone's first trip here. We're here at the Atlantic City Visitor Center. In the Visitor Center, you can pick up lots of different uh, brochures and pamphlets on things in Atlantic City and the surrounding areas. For example, we can have anything from a list of different stores in the Atlantic City outlets to advertisements for the Atlantic City Aquarium. There's even information on the Jitney so you don't have to walk or drive yourself around the city itself. There's just a lot of valuable information as well as people inside the visitor center who work for the city and they can give you any advice on specific things that you may want to do. The city that Monopoly is named after brings in a wide variety of visitors every day. The pier, located just across from Caesars, is one stop that everybody can enjoy. It's full of top-end stores and restaurants, as well as an indoor lounge area where you can enjoy the beach no matter what the weather is outside. Even if you're not able to shop at the likes of Tiffany's, Armani Exchange, and Gucci, the pier is a fun area to hang out. The candy store, located just inside, right off the boardwalk, is awesome to walk through and maybe grab a quick sweet. Okay, but let's be real. As college students, we can't afford those name brand prices that you'll find on the boardwalk or the pier in Atlantic City. But that's an awesome thing about the Tanger outlets located in Atlantic City is all of the name brand stores, but with merchandise at low prices or discounts. Here, there are so many different stores that you can check out, like Gap, Banana Republic, H&M, and Forever 21. A lot of the outlets, you can even get up to 50% off of what you would find in one of the regular stores. And the outlets are only two blocks away from the boardwalk, so it's really easy to walk to. Just don't spend too much, or you won't be able to afford your next trip. <laughs> One of my favorite features of the Atlantic City Boardwalk is the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. They have over 400 exhibits of strange artifacts from around the world, different optical illusions, um, a few different interactive exhibits. It's a self-guided tour you can walk through, take pictures. It's around $15 for adults, and which is a little more than you know you might want to spend, but it's definitely worth it if you're into weird, strange things. If you're looking to save money, your best bet is going to be to venture a block or two off of the boardwalk. Here you can check out all kinds of restaurants, shops, and even some bars, which are going to cost you a lot less money than the main places around the casino areas. One of my favorite spots to check out is the Irish Pub here on St. James Place, right off of the boardwalk. If you know where Ripley's Believe It or Not is, it's literally right past their museum. Here at the Irish Pub, they have a whole bar where you can get a slew of different drinks, including a lot of imported beers, ciders, and wines and things like that from Ireland and England. Also, in general, if you want to come here for lunch or dinner, all of the meals are under $10. In here, you can sit down for a meal or grab a drink if you'd like. Even if you're under 21, you're welcome to grab a bite to eat here. So 
So one of the best opportunities to save money in Atlantic City comes if you are over 21, or at least if you know somebody who's over 21. The casinos down here will offer their membership or rewards cards, and with that you often get things like free rooms, um, depending on promotions you could get free buffets, but even aside from that, if you check for things during the week, a lot of times the casinos will have rooms available for as little as $29 for a night. And it's a great chance if you have a day off from class or you have some free time during the week as opposed to the weekend to get down here, stay overnight, spend some money, hang out in the indoor pools, and just enjoy a little time away from school. Looking for more special deals in and around Atlantic City? Visit the Deals and Packages section of AtlanticCityNJ.com.